Okay, so we've got a raised lip on our piece of stainless sheet, and we want to redefine that corner after we've sort of dished out this edge. So what I'm going to do is use the squared off side of the stake and the rubber mallet to do those drawing blows and roll the hammer across the surface to pull this sheet metal down. Now, if you don't have heavy calluses, leather gloves are always recommended. Um, if you've been working in the blacksmith shop for a while, you probably won't even notice this. I always file these edges smooth so they're not sharp and it gives me a better sense of where I am. But remember when sheet steel comes from the manufacturer or the steel yard, it's usually got a razor sharp burr that will cut through you. So you want to make sure to dress that before you start forging. So again, we're going to use our drawing blows, and that's sweeping the hammer across the surface. And that will give us our nice hard edge. Now I'm going to use this tapered section to get into this region so I don't unroll my curve too much. So now we've got a nice perimeter here. And you can take that as far as you'd like. But just know that the longer you forge it, the stiffer it's going to be. So generally you want to get your profile shape established before you raise the lip of all of your components. This is just a scrap piece, so we're doing all the test forging to make sure the stake behaves the way we want. Alright, so now we want to get a curve on this edge. So once you've done your curve, you can open it back up by laying it lengthwise and just hammering up and down. But if you want to tighten it, again, you're going to do those drawing blows. So I'm hammering just on the edge of the stake to draw that curve clean. And I work my way forward, and then increment down, and work my way forward again. And then once we get to this section, we can hammer the edge over. And hammer the edge over again, over here. This is being used the same way that we would use the heel of the anvil. So now that we've rolled this edge, you can see that the sheet metal has curved upwards, so we'll have to push down to get that curve to go back. But I'm going to finish this lip before I do any more shaping. There we go, nice and curved. 